entropy, the first law of thermodynamics, the context was, we are going to study a system, that is our thermodynamic system and for all our purposes, you can imagine that to be some amount of ideal gas trapped inside this piston and cylinder combination. The gas has a certain pressure and a certain volume and we represent that by a point in this diagram. That defines the state. That is called the state of the gas. We want to look at bulk macroscopic properties of which pressure and volume is a complete pair. That is all you need. I think I reminded you that you do not need a third axis for temperature because we have this equation PV equals nRT. So, if you know P and V, you do not need temperature as another variable. That is called the equation of state. You can use this all the time. Whenever the gas has got a pressure and volume, feel free to use PV equals nRT. I take a box and I put some gas molecules on one side and there is a partition holding them in that side. Then I remove this partition and I wait a little bit, then I know the gas fills up. Now take, that is like perfume leaking out of the bottle. A hot and cold when mixed will never separate back into hot and cold. A gas that genie that got out of the bottle will not go back. This gas that came out will not go back. There is a whole lot of processes which we call irreversible. They never seem to happen backwards. They only happen forwards. And we cannot list all of them. I will take this opportunity to list one second law of thermodynamics violation, which would be the notion that we have a sky vacuum. If the sky was a vacuum, the gas we breathe, which is at pressure, would fill the availability of volume it had to fill. Therefore, the sky is not an availability of volume for the gas to fill because we would all be dead. And it is really amazing that that is one law, a single law that not only is qualitative but is quantitative that tells you exactly when some things can happen and when some things cannot happen and according to the one single law, all the things that we say do not happen will not happen, will be forbidden by the law and that is the second law of thermodynamics. But what form does it take? Well, we will see it introduces a certain quantity called entropy about which let us say right now we do not know anything and the law will simply say the entropy of the universe will always increase. You do not have to write it down now. If you drop a piece of egg, an egg it comes and splatters all over the floor. If it rejoined and rose back to your hand, it would not violate any other principle other than the law of entropy.